So, Lauren, what would you say have been the most dramatic changes in the overall media industry in the past five years? Wow. Well, certainly on the television side, with Nielsen changing its measurement and not just looking at it based on live, but to look at things based on DVR ownership and usage and try to understand commercial viewership versus program viewership. So that definitely was a game changer out there in terms of analytics. I think that the fusion data that Nielsen's working on is game changing and trying to understand their people meters in conjunction with their relationship with MRI and product and service uses and trying to tie that together um, and also combining the online and the TV viewership. I think that those are big things. I think companies like IMMI are trying to really show true behaviors and not just stated behaviors and try to really understand real exposure to advertising and then try to get to that next step about well, what did they do? Did they tune into a show that they heard a commercial for? Did they actually go to a store? So they're working on their technology to try to get that answer for marketers that people are looking for. Uh, can you give me three predictions for the next five years? Three predictions, wow. I guess one would be that cinema would be a line item on all media plans. It would definitely be guaranteed that it would be a line item on all media plans. I, I do think that people in research and advertising are still going to be looking to how to best work with marketers to try to determine ROI. I think that's still going to be on, on the docket. And I think that depending on what technology and where technology goes will influence how we do research. So it's sort of this unknown, but it's also a very exciting time. There are potential competitors. You have Netflix, you have Blockbuster, you have more people being able to access VOD. What you know, would you say about this potential competition? We don't see those being the competition, we feel that, and we know through third-party syndicated research from whether it's Nielsen Research Group or OTX Research, syndicated studies, non-screen vision produced, that moviegoers, avid moviegoers, people who see six or more movies a year or 12 or more movies a year, they want that experience. And then they will maybe go rent the movie after the fact, but they want to be in the know. They want the water cooler talk. They want to be able to discuss the movie and the things that they've seen with their friends. It's a very, it's a big co-viewing experience. So people like that camaraderie and being able to go in groups and being able to be fresh and a lot of people tend to go in the first two weeks.